Here's your quick tip of the day. We're gonna show you how to set up your bar loader so you can fill it up and let it run all day. So we're gonna start, we're at our CAV32 bar loaders on our L32. We're gonna show you how to do this and then show you how to set up our edge bar loaders. The CAV bar loaders are nice because they have this adjustment center, this adjustment console here where it tells you what size bar to adjust it to. So you just set the needle to whatever diameter bar you're running and you're done, almost, you're almost done. We're gonna run one inch material. All these values are in millimeters. Pull out your calculators, or if you're in the rest of the civilized world, just dial it to whatever diameter your bar stock is. So one inch bars, 25 millimeters. So all we have to do is just adjust this screw until it says 25 millimeters. And then as you're adjusting it, the position of this hook that holds the bar is actually changing. I'll pull the bar up here so you can see it moving. As we adjust it for a larger diameter stock, this hook is gonna move down and move this bar farther over your lifting arm. So you watch as I move it, as I adjust it bigger, it's letting that bar roll farther down over this little lifter here. So we're just going to adjust it to 25 and a scooch, that's good, done. So that's our adjustment set. And the only other thing you have to do is adjust these little stops on the top. Is you don't want your bars running up over each other when it loads one, right? Loads the next bar in line, it's gonna drop the rest of them down. And if these are set up too high, your bars can actually run up over top of each other. So all we're gonna do, take a piece of cardboard, steel ruler, doesn't matter. You just want about a 32nd of an inch gap. You get more leeway with big bars, less leeway with small bars, but you want about a 32nd of an inch gap. You want it set high enough that your bars won't snag as they roll down under it. They won't hang up and stick, but you, want, you don't want it set so high that your bars have space to run up over each other. So all you do, take your wrench, loosen up this little plate. It's easier if you have you know, five or six bars in here, but you can do it with one. You just set your cardboard, I don't know if you can see that, you just set the cardboard on top of your bars, set that plate right down on top of the cardboard, and tighten it down. And then when you pull the cardboard out, you gotta, you got your gap set, and then just make sure that it's not tilted. Like right now it's tipped, it's, it's tipped down. That's why it's easier if you have a, five or six bars in there. So that way you've got bars top and bottom and it just sets down on the whole row of them. Easy enough, you just bring it up here at the top, loosen it up a little bit more. Slide it up. Yep. We're running one inch bars so you can get away with a lot. You don't have to be perfect. If you're running small, like eighth inch bars, 3 16th diameter bars, you gotta have it set a lot better. So now you can see we've got good, good gappage all the way down. There's no way, when I throw another bar in here, there's no way the second bar can roll up over top of the first bar. If you had your, if you had it set, you know, way up high for some reason, if you had it set way up here, when the bars slide down, you can actually, pop up over top and cause problems. Big bars like this, as long as it doesn't have enough space to run up over the top, that's all you need. And then just make sure that it's not gonna snag up and you know hang up and get stuck halfway down and you have one end of the bar down there and the other end stuck. Make sure that your lifters are set so that it can only pick up one bar at a time and that's all there is to it. All right, if you have an edge bar loader, this is how you're gonna set it. The process is the same, what you're doing is the same, it's just a little bit more simplistic. So in, in the middle of the bar loader, you've got a 10 millimeter screw that you just adjust, and that's going to change how far the bar is allowed to come down over the lifter paddles. So this is your lifter paddle on the edge bar loaders. As you can see, it's set way too far back for this three quarter inch stock we're running. So we have to adjust this back out 
because right now if we tried to run it like this with multiple bars stacked in here it would be able to lift probably two bars at once and it would jam up and cause issues so we have to adjust these hooks back until this bar is just doesn't have to be perfect but about flush with the edge of the paddle so it can only pick up one bar at a time you just have to turn the screw same process as the cav bar loader there's just no numbers you just have to do it by eye it doesn't tell you what stock size to set it for so as you can see as i'm turning it these hooks in the back are pulling this bar forward giving you less engagement with this lifter paddle and that looks about good so i don't know if you can see that on the camera so we're about flush the lifter paddle is only going to be able to pick up one bar at a time so when i when I load a second bar in there, it can't pick up more than one bar at a time. That's all there is to it. Simple as that. Bigger bars, you get more leeway. Smaller bars, you gotta be more on the money, but that's the process. That's all there is to it. So there's the basics on setting up your bar loader so you can stack it up and let it run. It's just the basics. If you want a more in-depth video on how to set up your parameters and troubleshooting issues, let us know in the comments and we'll put it on the list.